Well, it's that time of year again. We're, we're in the fall, and uh, I commit... Uh, yep. A day to remember is known for fusing styles of pop punk and metalcore into one genre named easycore. Or, for you non-music nerds, pop punk with breakdowns. A Day to Remember is a very innovative band. I take that back. They're the only innovative band. And if you say anything otherwise, you may be cancelled. Now, a simple Day to Remember song, you can have some four to the floor, boom, cap, boom, cap, boom, cap. Or you can have some fun pop punk beats like boom, pa, kum, boom, ka, boom, boom, some fun guitar riffs, you know, in the verses. But the main thing is a very catchy chorus. They have progressed through the years, with their first album being very horribly produced. I don't know who produced that, but they should probably die. Their second album, which went either silver, silver or gold, I don't know, but it was really good. They got famous with the cover of Since You've Been Gone by Kelly Clarkson. And then they went on to release their magnum opus. Homesick, with the one, one of the best album covers that I've ever seen. And they followed that up with another hit album, What Separates Me From You. Only 10 tracks, not one skip. And then they took three years, people, people thought they were, they, were, they were dead, you know, what, what happened to these guys, they were releasing albums every year, and now they're gone. And then on October 8th, 2013, they released their magnum opus, Common Courtesy. A very underrated album, but in my opinion, it is good. Then it took them another three years to release Bad Vibrations, which people liked too, but I mean, I'd say it's also a pretty underrated album. They were they were starting to try out new stuff, like for for this for example, the song Justified, where they they had like three songs in one, an, an emotional ballad, some pop punk, and some wait wait wait, and then the 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 wonderful thing where they went silent for three years and came back in 2019 with the most one of the most generic post-hardcore songs, Resentment. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that song, really. It's it's catchy. It's It has auto-tuned <laughs> screams. But it didn't really do much. And then 2021, they release You're Welcome. All I can say is, no thank you. Then later, they're back. In 2022, July 21st, they released Miracle, which I did a drum cover of. Miracle was kind of a fusion of what You're Welcome did, but good, you know? Well, enough talking from me. Let's continue having me talk, but making a song. Alrighty, fellas. Well, I'm in the project. Just decided to make something new. So I've already got an idea. Um, let's set the BBM to around maybe 160. It's a very pop punkish uh, tempo, if you know what I mean. And so I've got an idea for if that that just goes an intro like. Or I could do that in a different key like. That sounds pretty pop punky. Let's record it. Right there, I think I'm just gonna want the song to pick up. Um, <laughs> this is where it, where it gets fun, you know? Okay, that sounds good, doesn't it? Yes, it does. I think I'll have it, like, pick up with just some, just some strumming here. Just the same, the same chord structure, but... Oh, something about a day to remember. They do like breakdowns, but in major keys, which is very interesting, and it works for because pop punk is kind of major. So I'll try that. Like, that sounds good. I'm gonna record that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, uh, we got an idea, okay? I'll just use that breakdown as the main breakdown, because I want to keep the song a little short, so you won't get too bored watching the video. 
So let's move on to drums, shall we? We shall. Okay. Now, I'll, I will program the drums for the sake of the video, but I will record them actually later. Just, just, just so you don't get bored. For this, pretty simple. Just, just a basic pop punk beat. So, buka, buka. Then just copy and paste that a lot. There we go. Yeah, that sounds good. What if I just tom that? I'm gonna tom it at the start. Yep, yep. I, I see that. And for the for the breakdown, we'll get some double kicks in there. Uh, it'll be great. It'll be great. Uh, this might be a disappointment for some of my viewers, but oh well. There are a lot of other videos you could watch, but you chose to watch mine, so you should subscribe. Um. Okay. It's song time. <laughs> song it took me a while my lighting is considerably worse now so thanks but that was the song hope you enjoyed it i hope i emulated it and remember correctly and i will see you in the next video